everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, it's gonna be so exciting because we are going to make a special cake which is a Mother's Day entremet. To celebrate the Mother's Day this year, I am making my own Mother's Day cake. This is the recipe that I come up that is specially designed for all the mothers out there and also of course for me because I'm a mom. This is my second year celebrating Mother's Day and I'm very happy to have this opportunity to share this recipe for everyone who would love to make this for your mom, your aunts, your grandma, any girls around you, any women around you and even of course for yourself. This is going to be a decadent dessert because we will be making ruby chocolate mousse there will be also croissant some crunch in this dessert as well as confit raspberry but oh, you're gonna see it right after this i would suggest to prepare this on tome a day or two days earlier before you're going to serve this cake because there is a step that we are going to wait for 12 hours this is not part of my 2024 baking challenge because this is not from inside of the uh, recipe book that I've been doing the past few weeks. So this is according to my own idea that how I would like it to be for the Mother's Day. And without further ado, no more dilly dally, let's get on with the baking now. So the first thing we need to prepare is the raspberry inset. And to that, we are going to need these ingredients. The first thing you need to prepare is to prepare the mold and line it together with a cling film. For this, we are going to set it aside while we are preparing the raspberry. We are going to pour the 150 gram of raspberry into a saucepan together with the lemon juice and the sugar. Then we're gonna stir it and cook it until we achieve like a, a compote texture. Add the mixed up sugar and pectin. And then keep on stirring the mixture until it's slightly boiling for about 10 seconds more. Once it's ready, we're just gonna pour this into our mold that has been lined with a cling film. And then we're going to add the 50 gram of raspberries on top of this insert. Then we're going to keep this in the fridge for about 6 hours. The second thing that we need to prepare is to prepare the insert costume. And to that, we are going to prepare our pistachio praline first. For pistachio praline, we are going to need these ingredients. Before starting everything, we are going to just preheat the oven at 160 degrees Celsius. While our oven is preheating, we are going to just transfer the pistachio onto a baking tray. Once the oven is ready, we are just going to place our pistachio inside the oven for about 15 minutes. Sometimes some oven can be quite hot even though we put at the right temperature. So keep an eye on the pistachio. Once it's ready, just take it out from the oven, leave it to cool down. While we are waiting for our pistachio to cool down, we are going to just make our dry caramel. So to that, we are just going to need our saucepan, pour the sugar in the saucepan. let it to melt until you achieve like an amber color from the sugar now that this is ready we're just gonna quickly transfer it onto our baking paper spreading across just to make sure that it's not too thick and it will be quite difficult to break it after it cools down once all of this has been cooled down you use a hand blender or whichever that's available at your home Put the cool pistachio into the hand blender and break the caramel. Pour it inside together with the pistachio and then we are going to blend this until we achieve like a paste. So this might take some time, it might even take you for half an hour but be patient, you will get there. Once this is ready, just transfer it into a bowl and it will be ready for us to use to make our costume. 
And now we are ready to prepare our insert costume. And these are the ingredients that we are going to require. So we are going to melt our white chocolate in the microwave using a low power, very careful because white chocolate can be quite sensitive and it can get burned very easily. So use a very low power setting for the microwave. And then after that, we are just going to smash our crepe dantel into pieces. Once this is ready, we are just going to pour our pistachio praline together with our white chocolate and mix it all together until everything is blended well and we got our insert costume. Our insert costume is actually going to be the base of our entremet. So for this, we are just going to pour our costume into an entremet circle and then press it all along until you have a flat surface. And to this, we are just going to leave it in the fridge for at least uh, an hour or uh, two hours. Once this is set, we are going to take it out from the fridge and then we are going to trace it according to the mold. So I have traced my heart shape mold using a doily and then cut it so it's much more easier for me to trace on top of my costume. So the mold that I'm using here is a heart shape mold. You can use any mold that you have at home but since it's a Mother's Day and I really want it to look like a, a, a love for all the mothers so I'm using a heart shape mold. I will link in my description box where I bought my heart silicone mold. Remove the excess, you can use it for other things but this costume we will be using for something else very soon in this video so wait until we get there so for this heart shaped costume we are going to keep it back in the fridge until we are going to use it and the third thing we need to prepare is the dark was pistache so dark was pistache is like a sponge cake that we added together with the pistachio and so then we are going to need these ingredients thing we need to do is to sieve our icing sugar together with the almond powder. For our white eggs, we are going to beat it until it's slightly frothy and we are going to add the sugar little by little until all of it is incorporated together inside the white eggs. And continue beating the white eggs until it's like a fluffy form texture. And using a spatula, we are just going to fold them gently so that we don't lose the air that we have already incorporated into the white eggs. For this, I'm using a square cake theme. This is 8x8. If you have a cake tray at home, you can use that as well. And then we are just going to transfer all of the batter into our cake tray or cake theme. Spread it across so it's even. And then we are going to spread and pour some crushed pistachio on top of our dakwas. And then we are going to bake this for 15 minutes. Once this is ready, we are just going to take it out from the oven. And then leave it to cool slightly. While it's still warm, we are going to trace the heart shape using the previous heart shape paper, heart shape doily that we have used for our costume. Then we're going to leave this to completely cool down. Now, the fourth thing that we are going to prepare is the ruby chocolate mousse. To that, we are going to need these ingredients. So the first thing first, we are going to be beating our 175 gram of whipping cream. I would suggest to put the mixing bowl inside the fridge just to make it cool down so that it can retain the temperature of the cream while we beat it. And then we are going to just beat our whipping cream until it's slightly creamy but not too thick, not too firm, slightly runny like this. And then we will keep it back inside the fridge. We are going to rehydrate our gelatin first just add a little bit of water warm water 
leave it for about 5 minutes before using it. And now, we are going to heat our milk together with the 30 gram of the whipping cream. And during this time, inside a mixing bowl, we are going to beat the egg yolk together with the sugar. After the milk is warm or slightly boiling, we are going to pour this into the egg mixture while we stir it, beating it. And once all of the milk is inside our egg mixture, so we are gonna heat it again using a medium heat until we reach at the 83 degrees Celsius. Once we reach 83 degrees Celsius, take it out from the fire and then we are going to add the gelatin and continuously stirring them. It should be silky and liquidy. And for our ruby chocolate, we are just going to melt it in the microwave using a low power setting. Once it's ready, we are just going to pour our warm English cream into our chocolate and continue stirring them until we achieve the temperature around 40 degrees Celsius. Now we have reached to the most fun part which is the assembly. So the first step of our assembly is just to take out our beaten 175 gram of whipping cream from the fridge and then add the chocolate into the whipping cream. Using a spatula, we are just going to fold them until it's all mixed together using a gentle uh, movement. Once it's ready, we're just gonna leave it aside or keep it back in the fridge first and take our raspberry insert from the freezer, remove them from the mold. Then we're just gonna keep it back inside the fridge. And then we are going to pour our ruby chocolate mousse inside the mold. Unfortunately, I did not press record for this part so I'm terribly sorry about it and I've beaten myself for it because this part is the most crucial and most fun part but allow me to just explain how we are going to assemble it so the first thing you need to do is to pour the mousse inside the mold I usually use this kind of spatula to help me to spread the mousse until the walls of the silicone mold once the mousse is spread out we are going to add more mousse in the middle so that when we add the raspberry insert there will be enough mousse to cover the area and then after that just add the raspberry insert in the middle add more mousse and then finally add the dark wash. and after the dark wash, we're just gonna put some more mousse on top of it just to cover the dark wash with the rest of the mousse and for this we are just going to keep it in the fridge for 12 hours we're gonna need it to keep it in the 12 hours just to make sure that the mousse is really really solid before we take it out from the uh, mold if it's partially solid then when you push it out of the mold it will damage the shape so for this we're just gonna leave our entreme in the fridge for 12 hours sit back and relax and be ready to make our mirror glaze after this and for the last part is the decoration and this I am going to show you how I made my own white chocolate candy built with the balance of the costume that we had made earlier and also a little bit of pistachio in the middle so to that we are going to need these ingredients First thing first, we are gonna temper our chocolate. So to temper our chocolate, I have prepared two types of a bowl. One is a bowl that has been filled with ice and water, and the other one is um, just a pot that I can use to heat and steam to use as my um, bain marie. And then we are just going to pour the white chocolate into the dry bowl, let it to melt until we achieve the temperature at 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. Once it's reached at the 40 to 45 degrees Celsius, we're just going to lift it and then transfer it onto the ice bowl and then reduce the temperature until we achieve 26 to 27 degrees Celsius. Once we achieve 26 to 27, then we're going to put it back on top of our steam and then we're going to increase the temperature from 28 to 29 degrees celsius and we're done so for this we're just gonna leave it for about 10 minutes to just let the sugar to crystallize so we're gonna add our freeze-dried raspberries into the cool crystallized um, temperature 
chocolate first then we're going to transfer this into the piping bag and then after that we're just going to pipe into the silicone mold ensure that all the sides are covered add the crustium in the middle Usually the chocolate will be much more runnier but because I did not maybe temper the chocolate well enough so it kind of started to solidify after I leave it for a while in room temperature. But the good thing is that it doesn't melt in my hand and that's the target we want. Also it looks shiny. If the chocolate is much more runnier just leave the chocolate in the fridge or freezer for a few minutes and then take it out place the costume in the middle together with the pistachio and cover it back with the white chocolate and we're just gonna keep this in the fridge for about half an hour and it's gonna be ready for our candy I just make it slightly more lively by melting some ruby chocolate and place it inside a piping bag and just zigzag across the candy and pour a little bit of pistachio that has been crushed and there you go a beautiful candy for our alchemy and now the last decoration that we are going to prepare is the mirror glaze and so that we are gonna need these ingredients So the first thing we need to do is to add the glucose syrup, the sugar and the water in our saucepan. Heat it until at 103 degrees Celsius. Once we reach at this temperature, we are going to pour it into a measuring cup or a pitcher glass. So for this, I already prepared earlier my pink mirror glaze and this one I'm just going to show you how I color my white mirror glaze and then we are going to use our hand blender to mix this. So hand blender is very important and actually is very helpful and convenient because we are able to mix the mirror glaze without producing more bubbles. The number one enemy for a mirror glaze is air bubbles. So with the hand blender, we can almost eliminate the air bubbles in our mirror glaze glaze and our mirror glaze is ready so we are ready to decorate our entreme so first thing we need to do is to place our heart shaped costume onto our serving plate or our uh, serving board leave it aside first and then we are going to take our uh, entreme from the fridge and then unmold it place it on top of a cooling rack and then place a plate underneath the entreme. This is just so that when we pour the mirror glaze, it will help to catch the rest of the fallen mirror glaze. So here I'm just actually experimenting how my mirror glaze is going to turn out. I don't really like how the pink and the white are separated together. So instead, I pour the white into my pink and then pour it around so it does look like a little bit like a marble pattern which is much better than the first one and then here I'm just gonna show you guys how I decorate the entreme Our Mother's Day Entreme, it's so beautiful, I'm so happy and very proud that it turned out quite well. And of course, all of us, I know, very anxious to know how does it taste like. So let's try our Entreme now.
I am so happy that it tasted well together, the balance of each of the ingredients. And then the thing is that it's not boring because there is a crunch from the costume and then softness from the cake as well as the mousse. And then the raspberry inside is slightly sour. So it's the tanginess of the raspberry just take away the sweetness of our mousse and the costume. But overall, I'm very proud how it turned out and I'm so happy that mothers out there are watching it together with me and probably going to make it with me. So if you have made this on Tome for the women around you, your mother, your wife, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. And to that, we have reached to the end of this episode, Mother's Day on Tome. I'm really happy everyone had joined me here. The next episode will definitely be my 2024 baking challenge from my recipe book, which is Tah de Mati. Matis? So it will be something like this. There will be, um, this is like a half antome art underneath it. I really hope that it will turn out well for the next episode because some of you have watched a few of my episodes and it's quite challenging, especially for this episode. It will be a medium difficulty level, so fingers crossed. And of course, bake with me and we will learn and experience this together. So thank you so much again, everyone, for watching. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the world, my mother, my sisters, my aunts, and to myself as well and some of my friends. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share this video with everyone who would love to watch and maybe like an appreciation Mother's Day uh, video to enjoy together. <laughs> and if you're still watching, on to the next episode.